Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night, then you leave when it's like nothing wrong, it's alright with you. No ties, no cries, no needs, so free. I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal As long as you can show me a good time I don't care oh, oh, oh. What's going on guys? Jake Adams here and I'm still in Dubai and I had no idea that I was going to come across such an amazing, beautiful and promising reef tank. Um, I really don't know that much about it, but I got my buddy here, Davron Yusupov, uh, BPK Dubai. He's going to, he installed the tank, uh, designed the aquarium and uh, man, this is a real, real treat. This tank has so much going on for it and uh, it looks amazing now. I think another year or two it's going to be just mind blowing. So we're going to tap Devron to learn a little bit more about this tank. All right, so we just got to take a quick look at this entire reef tank, just so you can get an idea of the scale of this tank. Devron, can you stand next to it? Go ahead and stand next to it so we can really, really take it all in. So this is a four and a half meter aquarium, right? Yep. Holy crap. Was that like 15 feet? 14 feet? 1.4 meters high. 1.4 meters deep. There you go, there's that run. 2,000 gallons. So this is a 2,000 gallon reef tank. How tall is this tank? And 1.4 meters tall. 1.4 meters, so I guess like five, five feet high. Wow, just even the placement of it is really, really incredible. I love how it like starts at about three feet off the ground and it goes like up beyond eye level. How do you even start talking about this tank? Well, look, uh, it was a great project. The, the owner is really supportive. He, he, he knew exactly what he wanted, so it makes our job much, much easier. Uh, it's all made of glass. Uh, this was a challenge because they didn't want uh, any acrylic work. So uh, we just wanted to have that wow effect. So to make it uh, really awesome, we have to go with the height. The most aquariums made locally, they're only maybe 80 centimeters high. So this one we had to go with 1.4 so it makes the maintenance a little hard but uh, it's it's an awesome aquarium Very cool. so, this has been running for a little over a year uh, it's been doing well so far uh, corals are going fine uh, we will maintain it on a weekly basis uh, the owner is really really supportive he enjoys the hobby uh, he just lets us do what we do best. Yeah. So, you know, for, for one year old, all the corals are appropriate size. I'm gonna get a little bit closer because as I'm standing back, the corals look small. But you've got a really eclectic mix of, of corals, a giant population of fish. We're gonna have to definitely have to spend a little bit of time on each one of those. So tell me, tell me a little bit more about the, the process of starting up this tank. So it started as an idea that the owner is, is a hobbyist. Uh, he had an idea to, to put uh, one of the largest uh, bespoke reef aquariums in the region. Um, tell me a little bit about what's powering this reef tank, because um, you have an inordinate amount of gyre pumps in the back. Tell me about those. So when we designed it, we wanted to make, uh, well, we knew what corals we wanted to put in the aquarium, so we, we created a lot of space for fish and also for corals. Uh, once we got the, the pumps and the lights figured out, we had to create a lot of flow. So we, we went with max tech gyres to create a lot of random and controlled flow. And those are one of the jumbo models, right? The, these are the generation two, 280 models. They're so big, were they like 18 inches long? So you got a great, like perfect reef tank population of fish. Everything looks great. 
So most of the selection of corals and fish uh, are handpicked by the, by the owner of the tank. So he's very hands-on and he's very supportive. Uh, we're using Generation 4 Radions on them. So you have uh, Radion Pro Gen 4s. How many of those do you That's, have? Uh, 15 of those. Wow. So the, we have a sump room, we have uh, an ice big skimmer, we have a chiller, we have UV filtration. We have a closed loop system that's run by uh, Ecotech pumps. So the, the tank is completely made of glass. Okay. Uh, it's tempered, laminated, uh, three layers of 10 millimeter low iron glass. So 30 so, centimeters, no. Yeah. With the lamination, it's around 35 millimeters. Uh, okay. Now the, the sides and the bottom and the back, they're covered with acrylic. But I see you have this ginormous coast to coast overflow. It is what, like it's like 10 feet of overflow the entire back. That's insane. It's absolutely insane. So what makes this time very special for us is uh, all the stony corals, they started as uh, small frags. And what they say about big aquariums being easier is really true because these corals, they grow at a much, much faster rate than we'll keep at the shop even or any other smaller aquarium. How many uh, individual corals and coral frags do you think you have in here? Rough roundabout. At least two to, two, three, two to 300 pieces. Two to 300 pieces. And when you just look across, you can see just all the little plantings. Um, there's, you know, there's a little bit of room on the rocks, but there's definitely uh, plenty of room for the corals to grow, but just, you know, little plantings everywhere. We've got an assortment of corals all over the place. Euphelias, mushrooms. Uh, elegances. We really got a lot of elegances here. Some great, great looking uh, strawberry shortcakes. And what's funny about these is that the uh, the original f branches have kind of stagnated, but they've developed all kinds of new branches around the side. We've got a really, really cool um, Micro Musa Lord uh, Bami right here. <laughs> and more green star polyp that you can shake a stick at. And uh, did I hear you say you've already started removing some of the green star polyp? Initially, uh, we had much more of them and the, the basic elephant mushrooms. So over time, whenever we find the perfect coral to place in a specific position, we remove uh, more and more of the green star polyps so we can place them in the tank. Cool, so you just had them kind of as placeholders? Yes. Very nice. Man, you're getting a lot of really good growth up here from the, like a green's bird's nest. And the blue tip staghorn, and then the uh, hirsuta, the hirsuta montia seems to be uh, really popular here in Dubai. I've seen quite a bit of it so far. Well, we culture it also uh, in house, so. And this is at your store? Yes, and B they grow, B we BBK. notice they grow really, they do really well uh, when we aquaculture them and they grow much faster when we have them in plant stands. Very cool. We got some austere right here and some ice fire echinata. This little bummy is going to be very interesting in another year. So you notice the owner really likes uh, movement in the tank. So he really loves uh, all the LPS corals. Right. We try to keep them, uh, but also a nice variety of SPS acroporas and, and montiporas. You've got a little bit of everything in this tank, huh? Yes, so it makes it a challenge because we have to work a lot on it to keep all of them happy and, and growing. Do you find yourself like shuffling corals from side to side to keep them from sitting yet? Uh, initially, yes, but now it seems uh, we're, we're trying to keep a lot of space between corals. So, But again, it's, it's work in progress. The tank is only about a year old. Okay, so we've taken a good hard look at this giant, giant reef tank window. I mean, it's just like a window into a reef. We've got the ocean right over there, right outside those windows. Let's take a look at that filtration room, shall we? Let's go. Cool. All right. So, uh, even though we could make it loud, Oh, okay. You have to talk loud, loud. Okay. So even though we had, this, we had space to make the tank really big, we had very limited space to work with the fish room. So we managed to squeeze in there. So before you get to the sump though, 
This is such a cool idea. Tell us what this is right here. So we have a small quarantine system uh, initially to monitor animals before we introduce them to the, to the main tank. Uh, it, it runs on its own, so we get to monitor them, we get to treat the animals and uh, before we introduce them to the main system. Very cool. So we have a holding tank for... That's uh, just a purified water? Auto DI, yes. Okay. And then we'll just go in order. And then the, the biggest bubble king that they that, that royal exclusive mix? This is the largest uh, 650 model, the customized one. It handles up to uh, 20,000 liters of water. Look it's at this oversized for the Zacuario, but uh, it's doing a really good job. <laughs> so this thing has two ginormous, three ginormous red dragon bubble king needle wheel pumps, the biggest fattest, squattest body here, the huge collection cup that actually has uh, its own grain. And uh, yeah, this thing costs about as much as a small car. And this is kind of cool, you use a lot of uh, CO2 absorbing resin as well. Neat, all right, um, how about you go ahead and show us the filter. I have a small pump, a small sump here, uh, to handle the it's just enough to handle the volume uh, from the main the sump is almost comically small compared to the size of the tank, but totally functional. So the, the challenge we had was the room was small and the openings were really small, so we had to get in multiple uh, small, small aquariums and make them work together. So we have a small sump. Uh, so here we have the drain water coming in, going down some filter socks. What's funny is it takes 2,000 gallons, but those three 7-inch filter socks might as well be for like a 300-gallon tank. Um, all scheduled 40 PVC, I like it, I like it. And uh, let's see, we got some, some Vectra L1s for the returns. We have three returns? Yep. The, the Vectra L1s, they support the closed loop system. One of them only feeds the skimmer. And we have made uh, custom uh, in-house reactors to, to run some carbon and GFO. Cool, cool. Uh, Was that bio pellets I see over there? Yes. Okay, so we have a bio pellet reactor as well. You're dosing Calwasser, the classic. And now tell us about this tank right here. This is really interesting. So this tank is, is it, it makes up about 15% uh, of the total water volume of the display tank. Uh, it runs continuously as part of the main system and uh, it makes water changes so easy because we can just isolate the flow, drain it, and fill it with RO water and, and just uh, mix salt when the mixing is done, we just restart the, the, the system so it, it does automatic and slow water change that again becomes part of the main system. Very cool. So you never have to drain the tank itself. You put, you have this tank in line, you mix the seawater in here with fresh water and then you, 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 know, you turn it on with the system. Yes, we never have to turn off the, the main return pump so the tank always runs uh, continuously. Very so cool. We have the Apex system to, to help us with controlling. And I see uh, you have um, four channels of dosing. What are you dosing to this tank? Uh, about six months ago, we started dosing uh, Triton uh, 47. So okay. we think it's, it, it made a good change. It, it, uh, it really improved colors, uh, the growth. So you're and only doing liquid dosing for this tank right now? We do liquid dosing and we have the calc reactor. That's all. Okay. Do you foresee needing any uh, higher intensity? Yes, so uh, recently we started adding SPS corals and uh, we see that they're growing really fast. It, it uh, exponentially increased the, the consumption, so we're considering a, a, a nice calcium reactor. Even though we have very limited space, we're gonna get something that fits the system. Yeah, it looks like you have space to mount something on the wall right there. Very cool. Well, let's go take another look at the tank. So here's something that I haven't seen too many times, but you have a webcam on the filter system, huh? Yes, it, it helps us to control uh, and, and monitor the water levels to, to make sure that all the systems are running properly. So you, you mentioned that you have an Apex on here, but you, what do you use it for? Mainly for dosing and monitoring. Okay. It doesn't do any controllability uh, functions. So you know, the thing about having the webcam is like you, you see the image in real time and you know exactly what's happening. Yes. Right. Very, it's very neat. Go for it.
How often do you have to feed the tank? Every, every other day. Every other day you feed them some frozen food? Yep. And, and there's an automatic feeder with pellets. Yes. How often does that come on? Uh, twice a day. Twice a day. Very cool. Dude, you know what I love about this tank? It's just balanced. You know, a lot of a lot of tanks like this, you see people just put too many fish or a lot of stupid corals. And you have a great population of fish. And I love that you said that it's done. Like you're not adding more fish. That's a great, great philosophy to have. What do you think, Tony? Right, quarantine this fish, and he's done. I'm just trying to get a little Tony cameo in here, and he's just like, give me the stiff lip. He's a little, he's a little scared on camera. I'm shy. What's up, Tony? I'm shy. Hey, t -Bone. I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with him. I think um, this number of fish is just like perfect. Look, when they're all scattered all over the place, the tank looks full of fish. It looks so natural. Yeah. I mean, you know, this, this is, this is definitely the way to go. So this is Branson. What's up, Branson? Hi. Put it there. Hi. So this is your baby. Yep. How often, how many times a week do you see this tank? Three, four times. Three to four times. No, three to four times. Three to four times a week. Yep. Very cool. And you've worked on it since the beginning? Yep. How, what are some remarkable things about this aquarium? Mm, remarkable is uh, adding corals. Adding corals? Yeah. The pick up the best coral and then bits by bits. Yep. Ah, I know what I want to ask you. How do you clean? How do you clean the glass? You have a big magnet. Do you have yeah, a big stick? Big Tunzi magnet. Big yeah, Tunzi yeah. magnet. Yeah. And do you have to siphon the gravel at all? Yep. Every every two weeks. And I uh, imagine that's a really long siphon. Yeah. How do you place corals around the bottom and stuff? That's hard. <laughs> that's hard. Do you have like really long tongs? Yeah, we have long tongs like one point two meter. One point two meter. Yeah. And you have to like like move it back and forth right to get it just Correct. right and it takes a long time to place a coral on the bottom Correct. like this this up coral we move the rock up and we glue on the, uh, on the rock and dip it down oh uh, okay yeah so it makes more sense to just pull up the entire rock do the work and then put the rock down because you're not going to place an individual <laughs> frag down on that piece right there very neat what are some other things you'd want to share about the tank what do you want people to know about this tank Flow? Yeah. Okay. A strong flow. Oh. Yeah, I noticed there's a ton of gyre pumps in here. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. And you think that helps you keep the tank clean? Yes. Definitely. Very, very cool. All right. Thanks a lot, Branson. Thank you. <laughs> Man, so far coming to Dubai has been an incredible experience. I'm really thankful to Davron and BBK Dubai. Um, for the opportunity to come to visit his store and to visit, see this amazing reef tank. At one year old, this thing is like really, really promising. You see, I see a lot of, you know, kind of extravagant reef tanks put together and usually they're kind of underwhelming, but everything about this tank, all the signs point to an amazing, incredible display in the near future. So um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, if you like seeing these kind of custom aquariums, um, definitely hit that like button, comment if you have any questions, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video like this. And until next time, I will catch you guys on the next video.